Hey everybody, it's Kate. This is the start of my new YouTube channel where every week during the spring semester I'll be creating vlog style videos for my BCA class. Uh, today I am going down to Cameron's house. Alright, so I just got in my car, finished scraping it all off and everything. Um, uh, my check engine light is still on so I need to take a look at that, see what's going on. Um, but I'm getting ready to head to Cameron's, but I do have to make a couple stops here in Mount Pleasant. I'm gonna stop at Tim Hortons and get some Timbits. Um, I already got my coffee here, so we're good on that note. Um, gotta stop at Meyer and maybe Walmart. A couple okay, so today is Monday and I just got back from Cameron's. I had the most wonderful weekend. Uh, we went to dinner a couple times. We went to the championship parade down in Ann Arbor. Um, I had a wonderful time meeting all his family, and it was so nice to just hang out and finally get to meet all of them. Uh, Cameron is such a sweetie, and his parents are wonderful. Um, yeah. And he asked me to be his girlfriend this weekend, so that was super fun. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward. I'm going down there in the next two weeks, I think, so it should be a good time. Here's some clips of what we did this weekend. So I just got out of my BCA class, I'm currently walking back to my dorm, and it's freezing, um, but in class we walked, or talked about um, what we want to put in these videos and how to be authentic and all that kind of good stuff, and I don't really think I'll have a problem being authentic in these videos. If you know me, you know I've always been unapologetically myself, so ever since I was a kid, but there are these videos I feel like this week I've just kind of done like a recap of what I've done, and so I want to show more of like the little mundane joys of life and like the college experience, but like not the typical thing that everyone thinks of, just like the little stuff. So I'm gonna go upstairs and and make some lunch okay so before i make my lunch we're gonna make annika a latte espresso um this last christmas i got an espresso machine and i made a little coffee bar can't really see it because i'm facing it but anyways we're using starbucks espresso that i got on clearance at walmart hashtag college life my secret to really good lattes, espressos, whatever you want to call them, is putting brown sugar in the hot espresso. So I usually just take um, like maybe two tablespoons and I put it right in the hot espresso and then we stir it up. There's always like those um, brown sugar shaking espressos. I don't have a shaker thing. So, this is my next best option. Now we're gonna make um, a sweet cream to go with the latte. I do milk, Hershey's caramel, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, and then a splash of vanilla. And I know it sounds really sweet, but I promise it's really good. So I just pour all the ingredients in my little mug. Measure with your heart because it should be sweet. Whoops. And I don't know, I've used quite a bit of this. Just a little. I should probably shake it up. It just makes, it kind of creates your own like half and half and makes it like fluffy. Vanilla. Okay, now we're going to combine all our ingredients. Have espresso with the brown sugar and our cream and our non sponsored Starbucks cup. Starbucks has Starbucks is getting a lot of controversy right now because of all the workers' comp and whatever. Not workers' comp, but workers in general. Anyways, creamer first and then espresso.
and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for a hot second because the milk was not warm. So yeah, that is Kate's signature latte. <laughs> Annika's gonna make horse noises while I make this uh, sandwich. I don't know. Anyways, look at how perfectly toasted. Perfection, okay? Oh, if I could get it out of the toaster. Anyways, so we take your pieces of bread. I feel like, Annika, when I was in fourth grade, we had to do like a how to do this. We did that too. Yeah. I did how to wash your hands. <laughs> That it's sounds sad like that you. Don't know how to wash their hands. I did how to make a duct tape wallet. That's so bizarre. <laughs> it's, but it was easy, and you could bring it into class. Anyways, that's what I feel like I'm doing, is a how-to video. How video and showing off my fourth grade skills. So, you take your pieces of bread. You take your mayo. You spread it on the bread. My sister's gonna cackle at this so much. Take more mayo. Spread it on more of your bread. <laughs> Mike said to be authentic. I'm being authentic, okay? Mike, when you're watching this, I'm doing as you told. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> then you take a tuna packet because Ew. nobody has time to buy cans of tuna. I mean, I do, but like... Can you buy, like, a tuna fish? Yes, you can. Like, I, is that, like, an actual thing that you can buy, like... Like, like a... I think so. You can buy, like, salmon. Can you buy a tuna? I'm sure you could. I have never seen it in cans. Yeah. <gasps> um, a suggestion. Do not spill the tuna packet all over your plate. Ew. Um, try to get it on the bread, unlike me. Um, this actually smells pretty good, Annika. I know you're weird and you don't like it, but... It doesn't smell bad. That's what I'm saying. But I don't want to get too close to it because I don't smell the fish. Annika don't like no fish. Anyways. <laughs> I say anyways way too much. We were talking about ticks in class. Apparently that's that is not a tick. No, not a tick, but like... You know how some people say, um, or like, or yeah. like, like those things. Mm -hmm. That's what mine is. Anyways. Maybe. Okay. Hi. This is what our sandwich looks like right now. A secret ingredient. I don't know if it's a secret. Um, but it c might be a secret because my cheese was really moldy when I pulled it out of the fridge. Your secret is moldy cheese. No, we're not putting moldy cheese. Why did you bring that up though? Because the secret ingredient is Parmesan cheese. On a tuna sandwich. Um, I started doing it at Subway. It's really good. And... We're just gonna lather some on there. That's probably way too much. Anyways, then you put your pieces of bread together and voila, a tuna sandwich. Then I'm gonna pair um, with some peaches, I think. Ew! <laughs> I knew Annika was gonna say ew! She's currently hiding in the bathroom. Peaches. Anyways, thanks for watching.